In the middle of the night, a car was passing through an intersection when suddenly a shell hit the car body. The car rolled and nearly fell off the bridge. A killer in a steel suit walks up. The woman shoots at the killer, but is stopped by his shield. The woman jumped out of the car and began to confront the killer, but was blocked after firing. Then she and the killer go into melee mode. After a few moves, the woman was a little confused. He was acting exactly like her. After they looked at each other, the killer turned to get the fallen box. When the killer wasn't looking, the woman used a fly lock to wrap around her feet, and the killer was instantly suspended from the bridge. The woman quickly picked up the box and took away the red potion. The killer cuts the rope, picks up the knife and cuts through. She attacks, then kicks the woman to the bottom of the bridge. The woman was the famous Black Widow. Natasha walks to the shore and pulls out the red potion she's hiding on her body. She saw a childhood photo that had been sent by her sister Yelena. Go back 25 years. As a child, Natasha and her sister Yelena were adopted by a couple of Secret Service agents and lived a happy life. That night, due to the completion of the mission, Agent Alexei began to retreat with his family. They first arrived at a dilapidated farm and found their long-prepared escape plane. Alexei was also injected with Captain America's Super Soldier Serum. He was so powerful and so accurate that the policeman who pursued him was shot dead. Soon more police were on their trail, firing at the window of the plane. Melina is shot in the shoulder and Natasha confronts the situation by flying the plane quickly. Flying in the air at the critical moment, they successfully escaped in the pursuit of many police. The plane ends on a secret base where Natasha and her sister were spotted by Trikov. They were sent to a special group called Widows, which is made up of abandoned girls from all over the country. This group of girls is forced to undergo brutal training. In the endless training, they are turned into top killers. Many girls have fallen victim to dark tasks. Back in reality, Natasha decides to find her sister Yelena and uncover the truth about the red potion. On the rooftop, one of the killers took aim at a woman in the room, and another took aim at the same time. They are part of a group called Widow Killers, and they are on a mission. Her name is Yelena. After she spotted the target starting to run, she quickly jumped down in a standard killer landing position. Downstairs, Yelena quickly catches up with her target. After a period of attack, the other side has the advantage. Suddenly outside the blue light, the people are also alert. Alexei put on his old uniform and was about to attack when anesthetic shots hit him one by one and he fell down. Yelena finds Natasha. Natasha was already on the floor. Melina appears in her battle robe and stunned Yelena directly. The plane took them to the Red House. Red House base is an air base. No wonder no one can find it. Melina met Dracov. They had barely exchanged a few words when Dracov instantly recognized them. He tore off Natasha's mask. Then the masked killer reappears, revealing her true face. She is Dracov's daughter. Natasha also recalls that in the course of a mission, Dracov's daughter was unfortunately involved. Dracov later saved his daughter's life and trained her to become a top-level killing machine. She can imitate everyone's movements and is called a mimic. Dracov then sends impersonators to kill Natasha's by parents. Natasha sees an opportunity and takes out her pistol to kill Dracov, and she found she couldn't pull the trigger. Dracov proudly tells Natasha that she already has a pheromone implanted in her body. As long as she smelled him, she wouldn't hurt him. Natasha anchored Dracov by her language. Dracov attacked Natasha angrily and showed her how he controlled the widow's organization. Natasha saw that the time was right. She gets all the intelligence and, using the way Melina tells her, successfully deactivates the pheromone and begins to fight back. Melina successfully disables one of the airbase key engines, and the base begins to collapse. Alexei went several rounds with the copycat. When it almost fails, Melina arrives just in time and manages to lock the imitator into the glass house. Natasha is about to take care of Dracov when a group of widow killers arrive. She faced the many widows and was no match for them in her own strength. Melina arrived at the critical moment. She released the red potion just in time, and the killers quickly regained their senses. Natasha let everyone go first, but she stayed. She downloaded the widow's data and saved the copycat. As Dracov tries to escape, Yelena knocks out the helicopter's engine. She was ejected by the shock wave of the explosion, which killed Dracov. In order to save Yelena, Natasha picked up a parachute at random and jumped off, and successfully caught Yelena after a glide in the air. Then the impersonator rushed towards them. Natasha pushes Yelena away and attracts an attack from the copycats. After a dogfight in the air, they parachute safely to the ground. The impersonator attacks again, and Natasha removes the impersonator's helmet with her nimble melee skills. Then she punched the red potion, and the mimic was instantly restored to sanity. As the battle ended, the aerial platform also landed, and a world-class killer alliance was gone. After Natasha confirmed that her family was safe, the police arrived. She chooses to face it alone, and is on her way to reuniting the Avengers. Yelena took advantage of her lack of attention, picked up the dagger attack. The other party instantly fell to the ground.
Just as he was about to pick up the box on the ground, the other side released the red potion, and the red smoke covered his face for an instant. The recovered Yelena doesn't seem to remember anything. She looked at the wounded woman on the ground and tried to save her, but the woman put the red potion in her hand, said the words to free the others, and then lost her breath. Yelena seemed to understand everything. She removed the locator hidden in her thigh and left the scene with the case. Natasha follows the clues and finds Yelena in a house. The sisters hadn't seen each other for 25 years, but they fought as soon as they saw each other. They fought for some time and finally stopped. This is their special way of meeting. Her sister tells Natasha that Draco, who controls the whale killer group, is not dead. He's hiding out in a place called the Red House, pulling strings from behind the scenes. They hadn't talked long before the widows found them. In a hell of gunfire, they managed to dodge all the bullets. They ran into the street and found a motorcycle. Just then, an armored vehicle came after him. Armored vehicles went on a rampage, and the locomotive was scrapped after a collision. They grabbed a car and fled. The masked killer reappeared, firing an arrow. The bomb on the arrow detonated the car instantly. After the blast, the car came to a steady stop and the subway station. Natasha quickly rescues Yelena. When the mass killer came after them again, they could only slide down the escalator. The killer threw his shield at them, and it went into the iron post. Once again, they were lucky enough to escape. Natasha and Yelena hide in the subway ventilation duct. Once again escape in order to find the head of the widow's organization. They find their father Alexei from 25 years ago. But at the moment, Alexei is locked up in a prison, playing arm wrestling every day. They flew the helicopter to Alexei's prison. They tried to keep it quiet, but Yelena had a temper, and she shot down the tower. A riot broke out in the prison, and Alexei escaped, but the explosion triggered an avalanche, and Natasha was quick to save Alexei. Alexei does not seem to be much liked by his daughters, but he is also very unhappy with Dracov's behavior. Because Dracov framed him and went to jail, he decides to join them, and provides an important clue that their mother Melina is still alive. Just then, the helicopter says it's running out of fuel. Ignoring the danger, they landed the helicopter vertically on the ground. Alexei leads them to a farm, where they finally find their long-lost mother. In an eerie atmosphere, they finished catching up. Melina demonstrates Dracov's dark technology, which can control the brain nerves of living creatures and control the life and death of others at will. This hit Yelena's sore point, because she was also the subject of the experiment, and Yelena left in anger. Alexei was embarrassed and came to comfort him but to no avail. Melina tells Natasha that she has informed Dracov and that the assault team will be here soon. In the Marvel world, which is full of strange forces and chaotic gods, she is a seemingly low participation, but in fact, she is a player who is deeply involved and famous. Natasha, the Black Widow, is living in a prosperous and troubled world, smiling with death in her heart. Since childhood spy career, she killed her peers to stand out, played a lot of people to carry out missions. She's been through too many human trials to see through life's possibilities. Natasha is still young and beautiful on the outside, but her inner soul is old. She was willing to trade her soul for any chance to save others. Anything she can face, anything she can see, doesn't appeal to her. You know, before Endgame, a game of life and death began, she walked long before the other five men in the Avengers. Too bad she didn't make it to the end.